So these are the brand new Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing the design, the key capabilities of this, the different use cases, and also the pros and cons. These were just released at 299 pounds and dollars. They have a whole wide variety of versions of their smart glasses. I have the Ray-Ban Wayfarers. You can also get the headliners. They come in multiple different options, such as prescription glasses, general sunglasses, or the versions that I have here, which are general transparent blue light glasses for those people that just want to use this whilst using their screens all day. So let's go ahead and take a look at the design first, and let's take a look at some sample footage that I've taken by some photos and videos with these. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off with the design. They come in this very nice Ray-Ban carry case, which is rechargeable via USB-C. This doesn't come with any USB-C cable, so you just have to supply your own. You have yourself the indicator LED light. So when you open it up, you'll see this does light up. You also have a manual pairing button there in case you don't get a opportunity to pair it properly. But for the first time I've used this, it was very easy, simple to do. When I took it out of the case, it was in my Bluetooth settings and it was paired very quickly. Let's take a look at the design of these ones. These are very well designed. So these are the Wayfarers. I've got them in transparent with blue light, no prescriptions. You can see there's two lenses just on the left and the right. The one on the right hand side when you put this on is only for the LED indicator to showcase when you're taking pictures and recording videos. The actual camera itself is on the left hand side there and it is a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. If you look inside the handles, You'll find the little power switch on the left handle just there. You can see it's currently off. You just toggle that this way and it will turn on. And on the right handle, you can see there's a little button just on the top there. This will allow you to take pictures and record videos. A single press will take a picture. A long press will record video and you can make adjustments of what they do via the Meta app. Then you also have open ear speakers just towards the end of each handle there that will fire your audio directly towards your ears. And there is quite good noise leak cancellation on that as well and I'll be showcasing that as a test and a little microphone so if you do take phone calls then it's pretty clear audio when you are speaking whilst wearing these glasses. So overall these are a pretty good design. Now let me go ahead and turn this on and showcase what it looks like when you pair it with the Meta app. Of course you can pair it in the Bluetooth settings but if you download the Meta View app you will see there it has automatically paired and it shows you the battery percentage there. On the main home page tab here you can see it just shows you different options for you to just learn and explore how to use the Meta glasses. In the middle tab, these are all of your videos and pictures you've taken using the glasses that you can import. When you do import them, it does require you to join the Wi-Fi of the glasses, wait for it to fully import and it will be saved to your phone's gallery. Then it will disconnect automatically. When you go into settings, you have plenty of other options here. So let's just take a quick look at that. So you can see Wayfarers, glasses and privacy, you can take a look at some of the different gestures, notification, LED brightness, sounds, and, and then you have other options to unpair and reset the glasses if you need to. This also includes Meta's own voice assistant, which I think is great. You have to basically start off by saying, hey Meta, and it will do various different commands. Some sample ones, you can say, hey Meta, take a picture or record a video. You can ask for what the weather is today. You can ask it to share a photo with someone from your WhatsApp contacts list. So plenty of different options. This is very much tailored to Instagram and Facebook live streaming. So you can do various commands using those apps as well. And in most cases where you do want something to happen with an app on your phone, you will have to complete the action on your phone and not directly from the glasses. So various other privacy options just there at the bottom. When you go to camera, you can set here what you want to do with the capture button. So I've just set it to press once to take photos or you can swap it the other way around and you can press once to record videos instead of photos. Video length, the maximum you can record using these glasses is 60 seconds. If you do use this for live streaming via Instagram or Facebook, then of course you can live stream longer and those videos will be then downloaded to your phone. That's the only alternative way to get videos longer than 60 seconds. But if you just want to use these independently without using Instagram or Facebook, then just remember they are limited to 60 second clips at a time. You can set this up with your phone, WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger for making calls. Under music, you can actually enable Spotify tap. You can do auto pause as well when you remove your glasses, which I think is useful and I have selected this to be on. And then various other settings that you would expect from a smart piece of tech like this. 
So let's go ahead and just show you quickly how this works. So you take a photo, you will see the LED light just flash there. There you go. And then if you hold this down, you'll hear a beep and now it started video recording. You can hold the glasses and it will record the video. So if you want to face yourself rather than seeing your own point of view, then you can do that by just holding this out in front of you and recording yourself, or you can put it back on your face and just record what you're seeing for your audience. As soon as you just tap once, it will stop the video recording. If 60 seconds go by, then it will automatically stop the recording. There is no setting for you to hide that LED light. And of course, that's mainly for privacy purposes. So people know that you are recording. There's no option and I probably wouldn't recommend trying to hide that light if you wanted to record videos. Even if you try and put something over this, maybe you put a little black tape or you just put your finger over it to block the light. This is clever enough to actually stop the recording. So there's no way for you to actually try to record videos without other people knowing by hiding that light. So just keep that in mind. Now these are also very comfortable to wear. And of course, Ray-Ban, they are a very large company specializing in glasses. When you do put it on, you get like a confirmation beep if it is powered on that it's now ready to use. So I've just heard a beep. There also is a very light LED indicator just on the inside of the frame. So I know when I'm recording a video or when I'm using voice commands. Of course, you might not be able to hear a lot of the audio that's coming directly from the glasses into my ears. But what I do want to do is before I run into the audio tests and see how the noise leak is, it's just to quickly run through some of the key specifications. So these are IPX4 water resistant. So if you do wear this in maybe light rainy weather, then it should absolutely still work fine. In terms of the battery life, this does last around four hours on a single full charge of the smart glasses, which I actually think is a very good amount of time. But paired with the charging case, you can get up to 36 hours of charge without having the need to charge this entire set together. Now, speaking of the camera lens, like I mentioned earlier, this is a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. I would have liked the option to change it between ultra wide and wide, but of course you would need more lenses to have that capability. I think having glasses like this and you want to get a wider point of view of whatever you're filming and taking pictures of, ultra wide was the right strategy to go through. But with all of your photos and videos that you're taking with these smart glasses, this has a 32 gigabyte internal storage, which is very easy to transfer via the MetaView app. And on the topic of recording, this does max out at 1080p 60 frames per second. And like I mentioned before, the video clips are restricted to 60 seconds if you do use this as a standalone independent video recorder. But if you do live stream, then you can also record, you know, all the way up to 30 minutes, and then you can download your live stream recording and have it work in that way. But if you're the type of person that wants to buy this without the need of live streaming, then just remember that you can't record more than 60 seconds at a time. I will then tend to use this for recording B-roll footage for getting different shots of my products. And I think that's quite a good use case for me because 60 seconds is enough for getting each clip that I need to. This also has five built-in mics that provide spatial audio, which I think is great because you have the mics not just on the handles, but on the nose part here. And in terms of audio, we're going to be testing the noise leak because this actually from the first gen Meta glasses, has 50% less noise leak. So why don't we go ahead and start off with testing, playing a song from Spotify connected via my smart glasses. My microphone is just here on the side and hopefully I'll try to get as much noise leak as possible for you to hear it, but I will start off with 50% volume and work my way up to 100% to see how much you can actually hear. But just remember how you're listening to this, it might be slightly different to how other people will hear things when they are in person around me. But let's just go ahead and see what you guys think of that. Okay, so I'm about to play a song from Spotify, 50% volume. The speakers will be firing it directly towards my ears rather than towards this microphone. But let's go ahead and see if you guys can actually hear anything. It's about 50% volume now. It's very clear to me. You may be struggling to hear anything. I've tested this by getting someone else in my family to wear these glasses at 50% volume. I couldn't hear anything. And I also tested this with a phone call and I couldn't hear 
the other person on the end of the line when someone was speaking via the glasses, which I think is a very important factor when you do have open air tech like this. So let's go ahead and put it up to 100%. Now you're probably hearing it a lot more. So just going to pause it there. And of course, with any open air tech like this, there is going to be noise leak. There's never going to be a situation where it's a 0% noise leak. But if you keep it relatively low where you can still hear everything clearly, then you can be pretty confident that people around you might not be able to hear everything you're listening to or if there's anyone that you're speaking to. So now that we've tested the noise leak and I'm pretty impressed with that, let's go ahead and test out the photos and videos. So I've been going out past couple of days, taking a few clips, not exceeding the 60 second limit, using the smart glasses, and it's very convenient and quick to do. If I don't want to use the capture button there, I can also do voice assistant and ask it to record a video. But also, one thing I also want to mention is that the right handle here is a slider that you can swipe to turn the volume up and down, which I think is very convenient. And you can also tap here to play and pause your music. And the touch capacitive on this is very responsive and it's probably the best that I've seen in any other smart glasses that I've tried this. And I have reviewed a couple of other smart glasses from different brands before. None of them have worked as well as this. So let's go ahead and take a look at some sample clips. But before I do that, let me show you how quick it starts recording by just using a voice command. And you'll see that with the light turning on just there. Hey Meta, record a video. Now you can see the light is on, the video is recording, the 60 second clock has now started. And of course, I'm going to showcase how the audio quality is from a recording by using these glasses. So right now you're hearing everything from my shotgun mic. Let's go ahead and switch over. Now the audio that you're hearing, I've edited it so that it comes directly from my Meta smart glasses. And it is pretty clear to be honest, if you are going to be live streaming in your own studio, inside your house, wherever it may be, then you can be confident that your audience are going to hear everything clearly. You don't need to worry about that. You don't have to worry about trying to connect any external wireless microphones to yourself connected to these glasses in any way. So I think this does a very decent job. It's obviously not the greatest because it is just, you know, smart glasses is not high tech audio equipment, but it does the job. And when you're ready to stop recording, one tap of the button and it stops recording. But now that I've just shown you a sample audio clip and video clip from these glasses, Let's go ahead and show you a whole bunch that I've taken. Okay, so in this first video clip, I'm just walking through the train station. In terms of stabilization, I actually think it's pretty okay. Of course, as you are wearing something on your head, it will naturally shake a little bit as you're walking, but as I'm going down these steps, the stabilization is actually pretty good. So it didn't really shake too much where I wouldn't be able to share it online. But I think for smart glasses, that is very good, decent stabilization. Now you can use this for many different purposes. If you wanted to live stream, maybe you doing some shopping. Here's just a sample clip of me browsing around at the store, at the supermarket, seeing different things that I want to buy. If that's something that you want to showcase, then this is also a very great option. And you can see the colors are very vibrant. The video is very clear. You can read all of the pricing, the labels, the branding. I think this is just great just to have yourself walking around to different places like this. And in this clip, as I'm just walking through the station, I'm just gonna go quiet so you can hear some of the natural sounds that are coming from the background using the internal mics. One other use case I think this is good is if you want to do any driving videos, you're showcasing things in a brand new car, for example. This is really great to wear on your head and showcase like this. And you do see a lot of your cabin, 
This is kind of like having a dash cam on your face. You can really see everything on the roads clearly, as well as everything on the interior of your car. So when I do a lot of my car reviews, then I think I'm going to be wearing this because it just makes it so much more convenient to showcase different things when I do set it up with my car. But if you just want to wear it and you're driving in maybe a very busy area or you're seeing something that you like to showcase on your road trips, then you can just quickly turn on the recording and just use it in your car like this. One other thing that I think is going to be very popular with these types of smart glasses is fitness videos. So there's a lot of fitness influencers online and people record their videos by setting up their phones on tripods, but in having a POV point of view like this, you can also get some pretty cool shots with all of your workouts and routines that you can share to Instagram and to Facebook, or even if you wanted to live stream your workouts, then wearing these glasses is going to be a very convenient way to do that. And just on the topic of fitness, if you do want to go down the cardio route where you have a lot of fast paced movements, then you can see it can be quite shaky and is not too stable because your whole body is moving alongside the glasses as well. So it might not be the easiest to showcase and you can see in some situations, it does cause a little bit of blurring in the actual video. So if you wanted to do it using cardio machines, then this is kind of like an example that I just wanted to showcase how it may come out. And speaking of blurriness with fast paced movements, this is a sample clip of me just running through the park and you can see it's probably not so great. It does cause a lot of shakiness and it's not very clear in terms of the background, but overall stability is quite good, but I wouldn't really use this for running videos. So I'm just going for a walk in the park. So this is how the audio is outdoors. It's pretty quiet. There's no cars on the road next to me. It's pretty peaceful. And the audio is actually not too bad for smart glasses. So I'm pretty impressed from that front. So you can hear a lot of the natural noises in the background. So hopefully you found this audio test useful. So that's it guys. Those are the Ray-Ban Meta glasses. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this. Is it worth £299 or $299? Will you be getting these? What are you going to be using it for? I would say some of the cons, I've talked about a lot of the positive sides and this is a very well made piece of tech. I would say if there's an option in the future to obviously upscale to 4K, I think the option to just replace the light on the front with the light on the inside rather than having it on both whilst you're recording would also be quite good and it would be liked by a lot of users I would presume. I think that would be an option to have but also using this in very low lighting conditions, the quality is not great. If you're gonna do any type of shooting, maybe at night or you're indoors where it's very dark, then it's not going to come out very clear. And of course, that has a lot to do with the resolution and the quality of the lens, but there's only so much tech you can pack in such a tiny amount of space in a set of glasses like these. Obviously, this is like the second generation and as Meta start producing more and more, third gen, fourth gen, we'll see improvements in that area. But I would definitely recommend you need to be in a very well lit bright area for the quality of the videos to be decent enough to share on your social media. And lastly, I would say enabling the option for having clips longer than 60 seconds, that would be, I would say, you know, pretty much a game changer because you do have 32 gigabytes of storage and not everyone live streams on Facebook and Instagram. Maybe you just want to use this as a video recorder for supplementing your actual footage from your camera. So if that does happen, then I would say these are the perfect set of smart glasses that I've seen. Who knows, in the future, that may come very soon. I'm excited to see what happens in this space. If you did find this review useful, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe. I've got plenty of new tech videos coming out all the time and I will catch you all at the next one. Take care.